Alright, let's not kid ourselves, folks. Whatever. If the camera's off, the camera's off. Um, my goodness. <laughs> we are just... <laughs> I don't even know where to start. Um, our brains are trash, our minds are trash, and our bodies are trash for the most part. And it's all because we are not seeking God. It's all because we are not seeking God. Every person, from tiny to old, every single person is not seeking God. There, like that is the root of all problems and all ugliness on planet Earth. It's not complicated. I'm asking you personally, are you seeking the true God, all day, every day? Are, is that where your heart is? Is that where your mind is? If it is, like, God will teach you and you will draw near to him like he promised. But if not, you're going to be a piece of scum on this planet. And you're going to look nasty. And it's going to be brutal. And you're going to be a part of the ugliness on this earth. And, um, I just... Who will seek God? Who will desire God? Who is listening for God? Who is wanting God himself? Um, that's what's going to make you beautiful. That's what's going to please God. That's what's going to make you attractive to other people. Like, it's not complicated. Like, I'm just hitting it right on the kisser. Why there's ugliness on this planet why there's grossness, why there's all sorts of hideousness and undesirable junk and ugly people everywhere. They are not desiring God. Because believe me, if you desire God, even if you were born in a Muslim country outside the truth of Jesus Christ, Jesus will reveal himself to you. If your heart is really true and really pure in wanting the truth and wanting the true living God, Jesus will reveal himself to you and the Holy Ghost will teach you so much about the true God, it'll, it'll just shock you that you ever were in such darkness before. Um, but I, I can't stop saying the root of the problem is that every moron out there is thinking about or chasing something or someone other than closeness to God. And that is why there's all the ugliness and people's bodies are cursed. Did you know that physical ugliness is a curse as a result of that sin? What is the biggest sin? Not loving God, not desiring God. And people's bodies look like trash, their minds look like trash. Stop looking at, we got so many dumb products, so many shiny facades, people got nice houses, they got all these nice dumb dead things. But if you want to get a glimpse of the spiritual condition of a culture or people, just look at their physical bodies as you walk the streets, as you walk anywhere. Remember, the outside is just a reflection of the inside. If people's physical bodies are looking like trash and their facial expressions are looking depressed, that's the only answer you need. The place is in darkness. I don't care how expensive the homes are, I don't care how nice the cars are, all those things are worth zero compared to human bodies and human souls. And I walk through the world here in Langley. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, like Jesus said in Psalm 23. And it is hideous. And there is rampant nastiness everywhere. And it's all a result of people not desiring God. That's it. it, it, it it's that simple. It's like, do you want to please God? Do you want to know God more? Do you want to live the most honest life with Him as possible? Um, first thing God's going to do is call away all the lies in your life. Just saying, you can't, no more facades in front of people, no more, it's just, it's unbelievable. Um, just, the, the, the sin nature of people apart from God's Spirit. So, um, Everything looks like trash right now, like because our education system doesn't have the Bible or truth anywhere in it about God. So I just want to 
declare what I see in the world right now, so that God willing, when a great awakening and a great revival and a great change happens in the future and things are better then, at least I was telling the truth about the way things are now. Things are trash right now. We're living in the dark ages. People are good at taking care of products and physical things, but the spiritual condition of our beings is not good. And um, enough said. I'd love to see a global awakening. I'd love to see a national and international revival with many miracles happening for God's glory. And the dark ages will be exposed and forgotten for what they were.